Hey everybody, welcome back to a special edition video where today we're going to take a look at a pretty cool piece of hardware and uh, give it a little bit of a review. I have been sent a awesome steering wheel pedal combo from a fantastic company. They reached out, asked if I'd like to take a look at it, make a little video about it. So that's what we're going to do and that's what I'm going to jump in here for. This is not really sponsored, they aren't paying me, they haven't asked any specifics, they just asked if I would like to review one and they would send me one and I'm like, Psh, I like free stuff, let's take a look at it. So let's just jump in here so we can actually get a little bit better idea about what we're talking about and we'll you know we'll play some games with this thing and uh you know we'll film that as well and we'll kind of get a sense of what we think don't worry about the address that's just my po box uh this box is strange am i on the oh i guess i need to come in from this side also it's kind of big so it's a little bit hard for me to uh show you the whole thing but i'll do the best i can here i'm working with what i've got in the space i have and almost, it's a lot of tape. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can work with that. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Now it's starting to open, I think. <laughs> Is that gonna clear the camera? That's gonna clear the camera, and here we go. Evo Retro, designed in Montreal. Designed in Montreal. All right, let's, let's, uh, uh. All right, whoa, I'm just, I'm just making a mess out of everything up in here. All right, so we actually have this buddy. So it is compatible with the Nintendo Switch. It's a seven in one gaming steering wheel and little two pedal set. And I believe it's, uh, I think it might be compatible with some other stuff unofficially perhaps. Nope, here we go. So we have some features of the newest steering wheel compatible with PC, 360, PS3, and PC again um so it might be ps4 i don't know uh bionic design and new processing make it sweat absorbent and comfortable strong vibration that transports you in a new world of speed as though you were in an f1 car sole texture design stimulated pedal brings you back to the real driving and keeps it from slipping 180 degree steering angle to make control easier in game plug and play Stable and no offline happens. Again, we have the compatibility there. Package inclusion, one gaming steering wheel, one foot pedal, and one charging cable. I'll take you up in close here in case you want to pause and read on any of this stuff. We, of course, are going to open up the box and take a look. I'll give you most of my review, and I will definitely give you more details while we play some games with it. So that's that as well. And let's uh, see anything on the bottom. It's just red on the bottom. I know I like to be thorough and showing you all the signs and all the things. So next, let's actually get in here and see the steering wheel and such itself. Okay. I do like the box. I like that it has the handle and everything. That's quite convenient if you were finding it in the store and such. So now we have the opening right there. Last flap. And we're gonna move that over. And all right, so that's how that's packaged. It's nice and light. And we got the pedals. And no real instructions or anything, that's all right. It should be fairly fairly easy to figure out. Basic plug and play, I would imagine. Sorry, trying to set stuff to the side where I can <laughs> not, you know, destroy everything in the studio. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna actually, bear with me, I need to bring this camera down just a little bit now that I have a little bit more room. All right, so let's take a look at the pedals first. They're a little bit tiny, but you know, looks as aren't everything. And this is one of the lesser expensive pedal systems on the market. And as you can see, it's a USB. I don't see anything else that plugs in, so I guess it's gonna take two USB slots. Okay. Yeah, there's some, they do spring back. I like that you have that texture there. That's pretty nice. Okay. Looks like the cable's a decent distance. I may actually need to use extenders just because my office is set up very odd and the switch is way out of the way. But now let's look at the more cooler part of it, maybe? I don't know if you want to really call it the cooler part. Oh, there are instructions. I was wrong. I figured there'd be something. And it said charging cable, but I guess it means connection cable because they're both connected. And again, a USB. So it is going to take two USB slots. The wheel itself feels pretty good. You know, again, just for my initial touch, and I didn't realize it has a shifter built in, so that's nice. You got all your standard buttons here. We have triggers. Well, we have, yeah, okay, so we have R1 and L2 triggers back here. Yeah, that's a little bit of a reach, but I can make it work. 
mode and programming. I do like the black and the red. That's that's pretty. But I've always that's always been my favorite color combination. So gripped here. This is still plastic. It's not like it's like leather and you know it's not like a real steering wheel where it's material and and a plastic. Uh, it is all plastic. Uh, does not have any kind of tilt, but a pretty good range of turn. There's a nice uh, there's a give to it, you know. So it's going to want to come back on you, kind of a springiness. And it does have suction cup base. Okay. But it looks like that's your only option. That's fine. Again, considering the price point on this, that's not too shabby. Wish you could push that. It'd be funny if it like was the horn button. Okay. Now let's take a quick look at these instructions. And then we'll uh, move on. We'll go play some stuff with it. See what we think. And I'll try to hold on these pages in case you want to pause and read anything in here. Oops. Okay. Oh, you know what? It, it does look like it's only going to take one. And it's interesting, they are showing, I guess that's supposed to be a PS4, so this might actually work with PS4 as well. I will try that. I'm mostly going to try this on the Switch, but we'll see if it works with some other consoles too, because I do have them. Flip it over. Show you in the other language. The language of love. The dangerous language. Yeah, I'm gonna recheck something here in just a second. Because I wanna be thorough, as thorough as I can. I, you know, if they're gonna take the time to send one out, I'm gonna be appreciative of it. So was there actual, aha! So, okay, so I am wrong. It, is, it does not take two USB ports on your Switch. You will be plugging in the pedal there. And it does look as though you are going to need to plug in a controller. So that could theoretically be problematic for some people if you don't have charging cables. But luckily, I have every cable you could possibly need. Um, <laughs> you know, with my setup, that's what I need. So kind of excited that it also has, you know, shifter stick, although it's not really like, it's just a three position. You got your center and then spring loaded to go forward and back. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm excited to check it out. So let's do that, shall we? Let's go play some games. Okay, so here we go. We're finally gonna try uh, the steering wheel. Sorry, this review is coming so much later than I intended, but hey, it's happening finally. I will admit also, I just recorded for like 10 minutes. So, and learned the hard way <laughs> through user error. Um, I, I tried to use a USB extender because it does have a, I don't know, it's maybe, it's about a five foot cable to plug into your switch dock. Uh, for a lot of people, that might be too far. Like if you're right on the desk where your switch dock is, not a problem. I'm kind of having to stretch here a little bit to make mine work. I just got a TV tray table here. So apparently got to press down real hard on these suction cups to get them to hold. And hi, Mary. Hi. Just watch out for those open containers right there. And um, I'm just getting started on this. Okay. Okay. No. Um, so, sorry, she's offering me a dessert. Um, not that kind of. All right, anyways, um, other things I learned that I was wrong about in that section, I just decided to cut it because you don't need to see, I don't want to make this look bad when it was all my fault. Um, I thought you had to wire a controller into this. You do not. Um, I do not have a controller plugged in. I say all that, and now look, now it's like, no. What? Is it because Mary opened the door? <laughs> Maybe you do have to have a controller plugged into it. Um, well, that's... Okay, so the switch is definitely working. <sighs> Alright, so we will plug a controller back in and see if that's the case. Ah, oh, crap. I loosened my uh, suction cups there. And this thing, by the way, is a, it's about $100. It's $99.99, basically. Okay, why am I having so much trouble? <laughs> All right, we'll just pick it up. We'll just pick it up so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just going into a strange angle, I think. Oops, sorry for bumping the microphone. Huh? Oh, pff, stupid Eric. Stupid USB 2.0 whatever, <laughs> not C. Uh, huh. Oh, you know what? Okay, hold on. I, did, I had done a setting, so let's see here. I turned it back. I turned it... I had turned something off and then I turned it back on after recording and I'm wondering if now that's why it won't work. All right, let me go home. No. But I mean, it was working a second ago. <laughs> the crap. Okay, that's, that's the regular controller. Yeah, I was definitely able to use the directional pad a second ago to move this around. 
Hmm. So maybe it's not completely... Well, it's getting a charge. This is getting a charge via the wired hookup. And there is a light on on the steering wheel. Oh, wait. Whoa, oh, I did something. Program. That turned on a light. Nope. Mode. I don't know. Okay, that turned on, turned the light back off after holding mode for a second. <sighs> what? And again, I went, I watched some tutorials because I was having trouble hooking this up and getting it going. Everybody else was showing it as just straight up plug and play. And I thought maybe it was the wireless extender. Is it not? Is everything in there tight? Everything's in there tight. Hi -ya. All right, well, uh, let me stand up and check this connection. Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry, everybody. Sorry. Wire, that connector on the wire lab is annoying when it punches in. I'm going to try unplugging it and plugging it back in. That's what the pros, that's what the, how the pros do it. So I'm just plugging to an external point on the, on the dock there. Oh, there we go. It vibrated for a second. Or maybe my other controller vibrated. Okay. Oh, don't step on the microphone, Eric. God. Hiya, Eric. <laughs> All right. Okay, I think we can play some Mario Kart. Let's let's give this a try. That worked. What? Oh, 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 oh. That's my bad. I hit the wrong button. Okay. All right, we're good. It is plug and play, but I guess I lost connection slightly when I was wiggling with the controller. Anyways, you have a trouble. I guess that's what you do. Um. Okay, I don't have the best setup here, by the way. And I've never actually used the steering wheel. I've done like flight sticks for VR and throttles and rudder pedals, but I haven't done a steering wheel yet. And I got a Mario Kart! one hey. to play with, but all right, there's a little bit of give in the steering wheel, a little flexibility. All right, here we go. So we are, it is working now. I don't like how far out my arms are for this, but if I push it any further back, I wonder, can I just set that on the other side of that? I got like a TV tray, so like my pedals are wanting to push into this thing back here. I don't know. Let's just try something. Let's just see how it feels. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll go. Let's go 100 CC at least. I mean, again, we are doing slightly easier levels and stuff because of a, uh, you know, this is just kind of a, a showcase of the, the tool here more so than the game or my gameplay. <laughs> don't expect me to be great. Also, I'm gonna have to get used to what the Mario controls are for this. This also apparently works on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox One. I haven't tried it on the Series X. Um, let's see what we get. All right. Okay, so. I don't think my gas pedal is going. Oh, my gas. Why is my gas pedal hopping? I probably just, oh, and that's. Okay, so let's, uh, ba -ba boom. Uh, can I set my controls? See, because I don't want A to be, I want my... Hmm. Is this really the only controls I'm allowed to set? Because then what's, there's no point in having pedals for this. It kind of... Uh, that's that's going to be on the game, not necessarily the company, but I mean... Well, that's, so that is considering that an R, was there a way to map controls for Mario Kart? I don't remember. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's at least try it with the wheel and then, oh, bleh, bleh, bleh. Uh, resume. We'll do a little bit of the wheel here. Let me scooch up since I'm not going to use the pedals, I guess. We'll, we'll, we'll play around with this. We'll do some. Uh, there we go. Okay, so the steering definitely works. Let's see if I can, uh, well. Nope, that's, oh, okay, that's burning my mushrooms. Why is that burning my mushrooms? That should be, tr oh, you know, because it's not, oh, it's a trigger button. Nope, that also burns my mushrooms. Um, I mean, things are working, but the controller itself is not mapping the way intuitively I would have expected it to. But the steering feels pretty good. Why am I not burning it? Okay. Hmm. 
cool, 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 cool. Where am I, fourth? Yeah, again, I lost a lot of room up front. So where's my brake skid then, is that? Nope. Okay, but I can use the pedals to uh, launch my things, apparently. Launch my items. But what am I gonna use for a drift control? Ah, over, over complicated. Um, uh, freaking bananas, man. B-A-N-A-N-A-S, bananas. Okay, so that is actually hop, so I can, okay, I can drift with their ZL. All right, don't hit the helicopter tatter. Get that psalm. Oh, shoot, I didn't realize I was in first. I wouldn't have burned that. Um, also, uh, you know, one thing is I like to hold my items behind me sometimes. So I guess I will have to do... I need an item I can do that with. The controller does have vibration. It was vibrating for me just there. Or the steering wheel, I should say. Oh, you son of a biscuit eater. Why? I'm trying to keep this somewhat PG. I don't know if I'm going to be... Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Okay. Nope, that's not my drift control. Here's my drift control. Tokyo Drift, baby! Oh, shiitake! Come on, Mario, you got this. Okay, that's cool. At least I still hit the twofer. Ah, freaking coins. Okay, so I can test this out. Let's see if I can hold it back. Okay, so yeah, if you hold the down on the, uh, down on the D-pad and the ZL trigger, that's like holding your control stick back. Okay, well, what I want to do now, that felt pretty good for our first go at it here. Um, what I want to try now, though, is I actually do want to get in here and see if we can uh, remap some of these buttons. And I wonder, I didn't actually check the shifter on this either. Because I really would like to feel the pedals being the gas and the brake. But as we discovered, there's nothing there, is there? Is there, let me just, let me, uh, let me do a quick internet search. Um, what is it, what, what is exactly this called? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Can you remap controls in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Nintendo Switch? Uh, but that's tilt controls. How to change button mapping on Nintendo. How to change button map? okay, on Nintendo Switch controllers. I don't know if it'll uh, work here, but button mapping is compatible only on the Joy-Cons and Pro Controller. Uh-huh. Okay, um, I want to remap. Let's see if it's easy to do. If it's like super complicated, I'm not doing it. Uh, home, system settings, controlling, change button mapping. Okay, so, man. We'll play with it. Let me uh, see, how do you go home on this? Can I go home on this? Okay, so the mode button was like the home button. System settings. Controllers. Grip order. Change button mapping. So A. So that's A. So... Oh, what? Do I have two Pro Controller? Oh, okay. It's calling that. It's calling this one Pro Controller 1. Okay, well, that's cool. It thinks this is a Pro Controller. That's good, so I can probably just map just this. And then I can save it as a preset. Nice, nice, nice. So, if I push a button, does it highlight that button? No, that's ZR. Is that technically ZR? No, that's R, right? It's calling that R? Yeah, because it wants to be a break. So I want to remap that to being the A button. Yes. And then I want ZL mapped as L. Right. Uh, sure. Let's say we're, oops, let's say we're done. And let's go home. And let's try that again. 
Okay, so A is still A though, right? All right, cool. Same thing. We'll just we'll just change through here. We'll see if that button mapping stayed. And you can save your button mapping presets, I guess. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try that same. Why not? Let's try that same one. I'm gonna actually move my pedals back a little bit. The gas pedal keeps wanting to touch into this thing down here. Yeah, that's good. And I am on carpet, so the pedals feel pretty good. They're not sliding around too much. I do want to get the steering wheel in closer, but the way I have this set up, I need like a table that doesn't have the bar down there. All right. So now theoretically I should be able to drive this like normal and only worry about the buttons for my stuff. I don't think that's the case. Oh yeah, no, that's working. All right, cool. And then let me try something. Nope, I didn't. I did not remap the brake button correctly. But you know what? It's fine. Other than some power sliding, I don't often do the do much button remapping. Okay, but now it's starting to feel more like an actual driving game. Again, that's not on on the uh, thing. But I figure a lot of people probably buying this for. Oh shoot! I should actually drive. Um, buying this for the Switch. You might be buying it for other things. Oops! I launched that backwards. I didn't mean to. Okay. Oh right, I forgot I can still I can still drift, I just can't do it with the pedal. Nice. All dim coins. Yeehaw! Now this is a pod racing. Alright, alright. Yeah, this feels pretty good actually. Yeah, you know what? If I could have this set more comfortably. And again, that's just on my setup, not on their side of things. I think I would really like playing like this. Ooh, good, it didn't get me. Ah, crap. You jerk. You dirty Bowser. Oh, wrong button. Nope, wait, where's the... I remapped it, now I don't know what button is what. Oh, no! Okay, we, we definitely have... <laughs> oh! Oh, man! Alright, last lap. Oh, you son of a Bowser! Now, I may not be on the best material, but my suction cups are definitely slipping. But also, you're supposed to kind of do it pretty... Pretty, uh... Oh, shit, I got... Oh, no! No, 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 no! Wait, what? Why am I not firing? Oh, okay. I thought both buttons were doing that, but I guess I remapped that. Okay. I mean, we are only on 100cc. I shouldn't feel too proud of myself. <laughs> and, you know, computer players. And launch it for good measure. Oh, I meant to launch it backwards. All right, I want to play with that mapping a little bit more too. Hold on, let me have some grape juice off camera. Mmm. Some of that delicious white grape juice. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm gonna really push these suction cups in. We good? That feels a little bit better. All right, let me uh, pop out with the mode button to go home. And jump into the system settings again, down to controllers, uh, button mapping. This we're gonna change. Hmm, it did not save them? Because that should change. To A? Oh man. Hold on. Okay. All right. Let me see. Well, I don't know. Uh, okay. Let me uh, look up the, the Evo Retro. Oh, that's. I need to look up. The, okay. <laughs> Evo Retro button mapping. I feel like they had a. Mm, excuse me. Hmm. <laughs> getting a little warm in this room. That is not what I was looking for. Well, 
let's see, hold on. Well, do we have the model number on here? I can't remember off the top of my head. And there's like G2, GX. Nothing on here tells me. <laughs> of course, I don't have the box on standby. Um, but do, 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 do. Okay, so I need to search this correctly. Evo Retro. Whoops. And it is the. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Whew. I'm going to turn that AC on in a minute. All right, so we have the. Okay. Shoot, man. Sorry, everybody. I'm just trying to figure this out so we can do this right at least once. Steering wheel, baton, mapping. I just would like to remember what is what on this. Ah, no. That's okay. Yeah, that's the thing I'm looking for. Hmm. Well... Why are you giving me so much other things? <laughs> My Google Foo is being very weak today. Very weak. Wow. Let's try steering wheel and pedals. I don't think I typed that correctly, but fine. And oh, we still haven't tried the uh, shifter. Hmm. Okay, I got an idea. Let me uh, back out of all this. Control stick setting. What is that? <laughs> Can I get to that? Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, I see. All right, I'm going to reset. Uh, there's nothing to reset. Let me uh, jump back home. So the buttons are back to what they were supposed to be, what they were originally. Let's hit next race just to figure this out. We're figuring it out together. It's like a live product review. Okay, so why does that suction cup not want to stay stuck? All right, so now technically my gas pedal should not be gassing. But it is. Oh, you know what? He's auto steering and everything. Hold on. Oh, smart steering is on. Auto accelerate is on. <laughs> so now, yeah, okay. So that is actually considered the R button. Or is that the L button? Hold on. Uh-oh. Oh, there's my acceleration. Okay, so that's actually the L button then, and this is the R button. So brake is the R button, gas is the L button. Hmm. All right, uh, home. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure this out together. This is more of a tutorial than a review, but it gives you an idea of what's involved in this. I do wish it was mapped a little better for this, but I don't know that that's entirely the, this thing's fault. And I can save preset mapping. I just didn't before, and I thought I had it working when I didn't. So, so I said gas was the L button. So L, we actually wanna change that to the A button. Okay. Now the R button, I theoretically, actually, before we figure that out, um, what am I looking for? Uh, Mario Kart 8 button mapping. So if that is the button, I think it is. Do, 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 do. 
So you're saying, come on. Nobody has like the controls mapped out on a, on, like what Mario's instruction controls are. Here, how about this? What is the brake button in Mario Kart 8 on the Nintendo Switch? According to Mike, hold the A button to accelerate, the B button to brake, and the R okay, button to R is, fast so, and furious drift So on. R does the drifting. That's really what I'm looking for. So I want to set that to R. So R should be R. So R should be correct. Okay, well, let's hit done. Whoops. Done. Connection with the controller has been lost. Please connect to the controller and try again. What? Is it not saving it? Hmm. Oh, it does not want to save. Well, that is unpleasant. Okay. Huh. So it loses control when, when I think it... Well, I got something to try. Hold on. Maybe I don't hit done? We can try that. Oh, I didn't mean to be in the dang Joy-Con. Uh, let's map that to an A button. Now if I hit B, uh, do you want to go back without making any changes? No, I don't. I want, I want to keep those changes, but if I hit... I don't know. Let's hit the B button. See, maybe we do a couple of changes. No, it just tells me it's lost. It kicks me out, and it doesn't save those button mappings. Okay, well, okay, so apparently you, you can't really play Mario with the pedals being the gas and the... What? Really? No, I'm probably doing... So maybe I'm doing something completely wrong. Um, in case I am doing something completely wrong, you might want to look in the, in the, in the instructions. Uh, or in the comments, I'm sorry. Because if I am, people will definitely tell me. But yeah, that just wants to hop. It doesn't want to... Ah, <sighs> well, the pedals are useless for Mario Kart. All right, well, let's pull this in. And let's, pull, okay, what is the, oh shoot, there's no way I'm gonna make a good jump. All right. So the shifter is just forward is hop, back is, okay. I don't think I have any other real racing games. I don't play a lot of racing games. Okay, B is actually just break. Okay, I do have Drift with their uh, ZR. Their ZL is launching my items. I think that's... Yeah. Yeah, okay. I am like way behind everybody where <laughs> I was just sitting there trying to figure it out. I do vi oh, I do very much. I've never gotten this, but that's because I'm usually not this far back. I have never gotten, um, I've never played Mario with a steering wheel. This is pretty nice. I hit it myself and lost all my things. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Disco Mario. I am enjoying playing it with a steering wheel. And the, the steering wheel is pretty responsive. I'm making up some ground. I'm still in ninth. Oh, when did I become a bullet bill? Hell yeah! Okay, not bad, not bad. Hey, I've gotten first. Oh, almost got first. I again, I gotta remember not to over celebrate. I am playing on 100 cc, 100 cc, and man, I'm out of practice. And it is a little bit getting used to on uh, the, the steering wheel. Oh, and again, my suction cups are slipping on me. Shh. Like, yeah, this is... Okay, so much for not cursing. Um, <laughs> okay. I... Oh, I pulled the third. No! No, you stupid... No! Shoot! Second. All right. Yeah, this one particular suction cup. Like, the, the suction cup back here does want to stay suctioned. Suction cup up there does not want to stay suctioned. All right, let's do one more and then I need to wrap this up. Oh my God, it's 9.15. Ah, oh, hi ya. Hi -ya. <laughs> okay.
it is a shame about the foot pedals. But I assume on um, other racing games, other systems, you can probably map it. But, I mean, I want to play Mario Kart. For a $100 steering wheel, we'll do a little comparison here in a minute. But I have a feeling this is a pretty good deal for what it is. And again, there may be a way... I didn't get the fast start. There may be a better way to uh, map those buttons that I just haven't figured out. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. Okay. I got no excuse. That was just me being crappy. I need more coins is what I need. Get that speed boost. Oh, I usually go the other way. A banana! Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Why can't I? Oh, it's because I was holding down the back button. I don't think that's an issue. Hmm. It definitely is a little bit more complicated with a steering wheel. I'm just so used to playing with a joystick, I suppose. Oh, I still hit it. I, just, I thought I was going to miss it. That's getting nobody. Oh, it got somebody actually, didn't it? Oh. I was holding the button down. It launched it. I didn't actually let up on the button. Again, most of the problems I'm having are just because I'm used to playing it differently. Hiya. Hiya. I play Mario Kart like I make fried rice. <laughs> Sloppily. Ooh, that green almost got me. Oh, yay, a coin. Oh, that's right. Oh! Okay, for some reason, it won't let me hold back and turn. That sucks. So I guess the D-pad is overriding. Is overriding the uh, steering controls. Oh! Save me! Oh, it's only a second. Well, they still kind of saved me into first, didn't they? It felt cooler when I thought I was doing it with the pedal. Oh, I've only got three coins? Oh, man. Oh, I'm putting some distance on some fools right now, though. Actually, I want these coins. Screw the drifting. Halfway to 10, baby! Coin, coin. Mm. Coin. Mm. Ah, fuck, where's my button? Oh, now I'm really swearing. Oh no. What? What? Why why have I stopped? Why ha I never let off the gas. Huh. Oh crap. Crap sickles. Crap baskets. Get out of my way, Peach. Ooh, I didn't see it. I'm second. Who took first? Oh man. And again, one of my suction cups, the front suction cup keeps picking up and going over here and like my steering wheel ends up like this instead of like this. And that's really causing me problems. But that's also the surface I'm on, although it's a pretty similar surface to a desk. Unless you have like a glass top desk, then you're gonna be in better shape. All right, so overall, it's not bad. I like it. Let's uh, take a quick gander at just, I'm just gonna do uh, let's see, Nintendo Switch Steering Wheels. Let's see what's out there. In terms of something that's like this. All right, well, that's $100, and that doesn't seem to come with pedals, the hoary one. It does not. No, it did. Okay, so you got hoary as a competition. That's a different one. Okay, that's like 70 bucks, but it looks cheaper. $90. So there are some competitions in this, um, in this price range. Just kind of gonna gander at a little bit of a... Skimming some Amazon reviews. I'm not gonna get too into it, because you know. Ba-dum-ba-dum-ba-dum. 
and there's a lot of people unhappy, but I mean, I don't know. It, yeah, I would agree it could be a little more stable. Like maybe if they put a strap, so you could strap it around this table, but then that, you know, different desk sizes. So maybe not. All right. Yeah. There are some issues with not having a list of what the button mapping on this is. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 okay. It's okay. I'm going to be honest. It's okay. I'm not totally in love with it. Um, yeah, just I wish the suction cups were a little stronger. And again, some of that could be my surface, but I mean, it's a similar kind of painted wood surface like my desk. Um, the pedals are kind of tiny, but they kind of work. I like the foot rest on those. I do like the pedals. It's nice they have a shifter built in and then I can do that. Um, but if you don't have all suction cups down, they add like like quarter of an inch, half an inch. So once one goes, the thing really, really starts rocking. But uh, overall, I mean, you know, I don't know. It's not bad. Um, it's hard for me to recommend. I don't have a lot to compare it to, but it looks like it's kind of middle of the road. So give them an honest opinion. Like I said, they didn't pay me or pay me or sponsor me. They just sent me one for free. I got to be careful. I don't yank my switch down I just realized too cable should be longer at least by a foot at least a foot longer um but yeah all right anyways there you go let's go back and let's finish up the unboxing okay well there you have it that is what I think of the Evo retro seven in one steering wheel and uh hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully I gave you the information you need if not feel free to ask some comments and I'll do my best to answer them when I can and I appreciate everybody checking out the video. And again, I appreciate all the folks at Evo for Evo Retro for sending this over. Thank you so much. I had a good time with it, regardless of what my thoughts are. I'm sure I enjoyed it. I'm filming this part before I actually test it, just FYI. So uh, other than that, I guess I'm gonna get on out of here. So comment below, let me know what y'all think. And then of course, click that thumbs up button. Give me that good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. And you can check out the join button for YouTube memberships. And then in the description, we have the Patreon link, the merch link, and the Discord invite. So we can do all those things. But now I'm gonna get on out of here so I can go play some more stuff and do some more racing. And I'll see you all rubbing his racing. I don't, can't believe I haven't gotten that joke yet. I probably do in the video game segment. All right, I'll see you all <laughs> later.